right, so uh, it's very easy to run Aliens or really any RPG uh, through Discord. Uh, the first thing I would recommend, aside from getting a Discord account yourself, is to download the app. Now, I have a ton of servers I'm already in. For example, this is the Star Wars Legion server for anyone that plays that miniatures game. Uh, so it's already pretty crowded, so I made a second account uh, to show you how, how to do it. So the first thing you do is create a server. Uh, I'm just going to name it Example. For the time being, when you join in, you're going to see that you can invite friends over if you have any. Uh, I'm going to invite my main account over to use as an example later. But generally, what you're going to have is you're just going to have a basic text channel named General and a voice channel named General that you will automatically join. Now, I am muted because I don't have a mic hooked up to my desktop that uh, allows access. But basically, through the text channel, you'll be able to send whatever messages you need to send. And through voice channels, that's how you're going to be talking. Uh, like if you were together at a virtual table. Now, the first thing uh, I would do uh, is to make go to server settings, go to roles, and make two roles. You're going to call one game master, and if you want, you can give yourself a color. I'll give myself blue. Uh, and you want to give them administrator uh, permissions. Now, save the changes, and now make a second role and call it players. I'm going to make the player role color orange, uh, and just don't give them anything. This is just, or if you'd really know Discord, you can do some fancy stuff, but in case you don't, that's fine. So you're going to have your two roles, and you're going to want to assign yourself. You can right-click your name and go to roles, and give yourself the game master role if you're the one running the whole thing. Uh, you'll be able to invite your friends, as you can see. There's a bunch of ways. You can click that invite people link, but since I already invited my main account over, I'm going to go ahead and join it. Uh, boom, Ted Bear. And I will use Ted Bear as the example for the players. So boom, we got players and we got Game Master. Uh, the second thing I'd recommend doing is making a few text channels. You're going to make one called uh, Dice Rolling. This is where you're going to be rolling your virtual dice. And you're also going to make one called Game Notes. Uh, this is for any sort of notes that you take during the game, such as character inventories, uh, what happens if your players want to write anything down, they can go ahead and use this. Uh, this is the one that's the required, the second required one, Game Master only. Uh, that's for you to see, only you can see it, or the DM can see it. And then other than that, in case you have to, make a questions chat for your players. Uh, and then voice channels, really all you need is general, but if you want to be very atmospheric and you split the party up, you can send them to a second voice channel, so I'll just call this room 2, uh, slash, and I'll make a third one, room 3. So uh, if you edit the channels, as you can see here, boom. Uh, you could see who has permissions to join it. So I'm going to give the Game Master permission to read and send messages. That's going to be you. So you'll be able to write down whatever you need, uh, whether it's an enemy moving, whether it's, you know, anything. And players. Players uh, are not going to be able to read or send messages. So effectively, this channel is only to you. Uh, so you got all your rooms. You can also do the same thing to make the, room, the voice rooms private. But the other required thing is just getting a dice bot. And the one I used is Dice Maiden. Uh, let's you roll any type of dice with the command exclamation point roll d whatever and that's how you'd roll you can roll d6s you can roll d20s you can roll d30s you're going to click example uh or you're going to click invite invite them to the server uh capture it and boom as you can see it has joined the server so when you go to roll dice for whatever uh reason whether it's stats roll checks uh, you're going to do exclamation point roll and then any type of dice. So I'm going to roll a d6 there. I'm going to roll a d10 now. And now I'm going to roll a d20. And you can do multiple. So I'm going to roll four d6s. Boom, it gives you four different individual rolls in a total. So very simple. If you're like me, you can also add a music bot. I'd recommend rhythm, but that's just up to your preference. Now the other big thing is character sheets. Uh, as you can see, your character sheet is only a paper. You print it out. So what I did was I got all the information and I printed it down onto a Google Sheet. So it was very easy to keep track of. Uh, for example, here's James Holroyd's. I just copy pasted everything and put all of his stuff in. And it's the same thing with maps. You could take a little screenshot of it and send it into your Discord chat uh, or whatever need be. But honestly, it's really easy and it might seem a little complicated, but that's just what I did. So you have your DM and you have your player and you got your dice rolling. So you're all set up and ready to go.